Good evening, America. I'm Chaz Hernandez. And I'm... Tonight we examine the Bleeding Kansas, the Dred Scott case, and that bill that just passed in Congress, as well as the exclusive interview with Abraham Lincoln. But first, let's take it over to Queenie Sue for our must-read book of the month. Thanks, Chaz. Harriet Beecher Stowe's book, Uncle Tom's Cabin, is taking the world by storm and has become a national bestseller. This anti-slavery novel portrays a wide range of experiences of slaves. Copies are selling fast of what is now being referred to as the greatest book of the age. Thanks, Queenie. In other news, the number of deaths being recorded is rising after the incident becoming known as Bleeding Kansas. During this all-out brawl, murder, mayhem, destruction, and psychological warfare became a code of conduct in Kansas territory. Now we bring it over to Dwayne Schmidt for economic update. Thanks, Charles. Everything seems to be going smoothly here in the United States. Gold is being discovered around the nation in states such as California. Improvements in railroads have taken shipping to new heights, which many people are doing. We interrupt Dwayne's fascinating economic update with breaking news. We have just gotten word that Senator Charles Sumner has been attacked by Preston Brooks after a speech known as the Crime Against Kansas. More information will be given when it becomes available. Coming up, what's your opinion about the bill that just passed in Congress? Our exclusive interview with Abraham Lincoln. Welcome back. I'm Chaz Hernandez. The Married Woman's Property Bill has just made its way through U.S. Congress, allowing women to sue, make contracts, and inherit, and bequeath property. What do you think about this bill? Do you feel this bill should have been passed years ago, or do you disagree with it entirely? Vote online now at cbsnews.com. Before we take it over to Keegan Stevenson for our exclusive interview with Abraham Lincoln, we'll hear from Priya Sandeep. Thanks, Chaz. I'm here in San Francisco, California, at the site of an exciting moment. Donald McKay's clipper ship, the Flying Cloud, has sailed from New York to San Francisco in 89 days. This beats the previous record. Of Thank you, Priya. Next, we examine the Dred Scott decision. Slave from Missouri, Dred Scott, was taken by his master to Illinois, where slavery is forbidden. 
and then to Minnesota, where slavery is also prohibited. Upon his return to Missouri, he sued for his freedom. His case was taken to the Supreme Court. The strongest voice in the case's decision was Chief Justice Roger B. Taney, who claimed Scott could not even bring suit in court because he's black and therefore not a citizen. Despite his travels to locations where slavery is outlawed, Dred Scott remained a slave. And now it's time for our exclusive interview with Abraham Lincoln. I'm Keegan Stevenson, and I'm here with a man who's stunned the nation with his intriguing questions and strong arguments in his recent debates with Stephen A. Douglas. Lincoln is a self-educated lawyer from Springfield. He served four terms in Illinois legislature and one term in Congress and has recently built up a national reputation. So Abe, what motivated you to challenge Douglas to the debates? I wanted to build up my reputation, and I was confident that my arguments against his were strong. You did have many strong arguments, particularly on the issue of which states should have slaves and which should be free. Do you think the United States should be made up of both free and slave states? I believe the government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. So you don't think we can compromise? A house divided against itself cannot stand. Are you saying that the Union is on the brink of crumbling at its fingertips? I do not expect the Union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall, but I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other. Which do you think that one thing could be? My hopes are high for freedom for all. And that's all the time we have for tonight. And back to you, Chaz. Thanks, Keegan. And that's your news for tonight. I'm... And I'm Chaz Hernandez. Good night, everyone.